Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. And sa video natin ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin is ang support and resistance. And paano ko nga mapikita by just simply using this basic strategy? And as a beginner kasi sa stock market, ito yung pinaka-basic talaga na pwede mong gamitin para pumita. And if you are interested, please watch this video. Hello once again and ayun na nga ang pag-uusapan natin for today is how do you determine yung ating support and resistance and how do you create a trading plan using this support and resistance. And to start this video, let us know first yung definition ng support and resistance. And textbook definition ng support is that it is an area where the price of an asset tends to stop falling. And on the other hand, ang definition ng resistance is that it is the area where the price tends to stop rising. And to explain these two terms further, di ba, support, tinawag nga siya ng support kasi nga meron tayong mga buyers na willing to support this stock at this price level. So, it does not go down below this level kasi nga sinusuportahan ng mga buyers yung stock na to at this price. Diba? We can also call it as the demand zone kasi nga madaming demand dito and madaming mga buyers na pumapasok once the price reaches this level. And on the other hand, yung resistance naman natin, tinatawag siya na supply zone. Kasi nga dito na nagte-take profit yung mga buyers na nakabili dun sa support. Kaya tinawag siya na resistance kasi nagre-resist yung price to go beyond this price level. Diba? Kaya nga resistance. Okay, so ayun yung simple explanation of the support and resistance. Now, let us have an example. So, for our example, para mas maintindihan nyo, pare si SM, before yung mga lockdown-lockdown natin these past few months, nung March, ang SM nagtitrade siya between 1,000 pesos to 1,100 level. So, from that point, madedetermine natin na ang support niya nasa around 1,000 peso level. And then, ang resistance niya, around 1,100. So, magdodrawing lang ako ng box dito. So, mamaya natin papakita yung actual chart. Now, how does support and resistance work? ba diba, ito nga yung stock ni SM. So, kung wari wala tayong data, and alam lang natin na nagtetrade siya between 1,000 peso level and 1,100 peso level. So, we can actually draw an area of pattern right here. So, support niya, 1,000 pesos. And then, it will go up, up to 1,100 where the price will exist. And then, the buyers will take profit. And then, bababa na naman siya at 1,000 peso level. And then, support area siya. So, babounce na naman siya. Papunta sa 1,100. And the process goes on. So, ayun yung ating support and resistance. Okay? Now, let us determine the area of support. So, how do you determine the area of support? Simply lang, tingnan mo lang yung chart kung saan siya nagbabounce, di ba? Dito, nagbounce siya. Okay? And then, dito, nagbounce ulit siya. Okay? And then, nag-bounce ulit siya. And then, nag-bounce ulit siya. So, we can say na it is an area of support kasi nga nag-bounce lang pabalik yung price once it reaches this level. And then, take note that the more the price bounces at a level, the more significant yung kanyang support. So, mas malakas yung support niya kapag ka mas maraming beses siya nag-bounce at this level. So, on this example, meron tayong 4 prices na nag-bounce yung SM at this level. Now, let us determine naman yung resistance. So, yung resistance, di ba, ito yung price level na nagre-resist to makyat yung isang stock. So, for SM, it is 1,100 peso level. Kung makita nyo dito, ilang beses siya nag-touch at 1,100 level, di ba? Ayan, 1,100 and then bumagsak na naman siya and then babagsak na naman siya. So, ayun yung example natin for support and resistance. So, that's how it works. Pero hindi ganyan ka-perfect talaga in actual scenario. Okay? So, let's have the actual scenario. So, ito yung price range ni SM before yung mga recent lockdowns natin. It's actually trading between 1,100 pesos. Ayan. So, ayan yung highest niya. And then, 1,000 peso level. So, ayan. So, nakakaroon lang siya ng konting shakeout. So, bumabagsak siya ng konti dito sa price range niya. And to understand the structure, di ba? Tingnan mo yung presyo niya kung ano nangyari, di ba? Aangat siya, babagsak siya, and then aangat siya, and then babagsak siya, and then aangat siya, babagsak siya, aangat siya, babagsak siya, aangat siya, and then babagsak na naman, aangat, and then babagsak. Okay? 
So, ayun yung price structure ni SM. So, kung makikita nyo dito, ano yung mga price level na significant, di ba? Ang significant sa kanya, ito mga levels na to. So, ito yung ating magiging support. Ayan, support yan. So, this area should be the price where you should be buying. So, di ba, sabi ko sa inyo, it is an area. Hindi lang siya one point. Hindi for kasi sinabi natin ang support niya 1,000, sakto na yung 1,000 lagi, di ba? So, it can be 990 to 1,005. Basta, it is an area. Okay? And then, yung resistance natin, ganun din. So, it can be an area. So, 1,090 to 1,100 pesos. So, huwag kang lagi magsasakbo ng iyong mga orders sa iisang presyo lamang. Kasi, maaaring hindi ma-hit, di ba? So, ayan yung example natin for the support and resistance in SM. And now, I'm going to share with you how do I create a trading plan based on this simple strategy na buy on support and then sell on resistance. Actually, dito, ma-apply nyo yung buy low and then sell high. Buy low meaning sa support and then sell high sa resistance. Okay, now, how do I create a trading plan? So, once SM falls below 1,000 pesos and then it bounces back, so, I'm going to enter this trade. So, for example, during this price drop, So, it actually dropped up to 970 pesos right here, di ba? So, as you can see on the screen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the next day. And then, if the next day there is a bounce, I'm going to enter the stock. So, kung makita natin dito, nagkaroon siya ng bounce. So, kung end of day ka mamimili, makakabili ka dito ng around 1,019 pesos. And then, ang iyong magiging target profit kapag ka nag-enter ka dito sa stock, of course, yung kanyang resistance, di ba? 1,100 or 1,090 pesos. Okay, so ako, ang ginagawa ko, hindi siya saktong 1,100 kasi nga, minsan hindi lumidikit doon yung presyo. Medyo malapit, pero hindi siya inaabot. Okay? So usually, nagbamayanus ako ng mga 5 pesos or 10 pesos or 1% to 2%. Diba? So ayan, hindi ko isasagat. Okay, so 1,090 ang ginagawa ko dito target profit. Ayan. And then, ang cut loss ko, of course, kung nag-enter ako ng 1,020, ang magiging cut loss ko dyan is 1,000 pesos. So, dapat hindi na siya bumaba below 1,000 pesos para ma-confirm yung bounce. Diba? Okay? So, ang risk to reward ratio natin nasa 3.95. So, ang akin, ang acceptable na reward to risk ratio ko is at least 2. So, dapat mas mataas ng dalawang beses yung iyong magiging profit kesa sa loss. Okay, so kung nyo dito, ang magiging profit natin, 7.06%. And then, ating magiging loss, kung mali tayo, is around 1.79%. So, ayan, share ko din sa inyo on how do I plan for these trades. So, actually, what I'm doing is that during the weekend or at night, nag-chart na ako and then nag-determine ako ng area of support and then area of resistance and nililista ko na yan sa aking Excel file. And kung makita nyo dito sa screen, ito, meron ako dito mga listahan ng mga stocks noong February. So, February ito ah, so hindi na ito applicable during this period kasi madami na nagpago. Okay, so ito yung sample lang. Ayan, kung makita nyo dito, meron ako dito ginagawa ng mga stocks and then entry below. So, ito yung kanyang support. And then, meron ako dito target profit. And then, yung kanyang cut loss. Okay, so yun yung mga importante na iset nyo kapag ka mag-trade kayo. Your entry point cut loss, and then target profit. Ayan. Yung ating entry point, of course, ito yung ating support. Target profit will be the resistance. And then, yung ating cut loss level once the area of support is broken. So, ayan. Usually, nasa 3 to 5 percent yan. Personally, na sineset ko. Okay? So, ayan. I maintain also a risk to reward ratio na 1 is to 2. So, dapat yung reward to risk natin nasa 2 yung number. Okay, so dapat twice as much yung kikitain mo kaysa dun sa malulugi ka kapag ka mali. So, ito yung mga naging result na nung pinakita ko sa inyo na strategy ko. And then, ito yung actual port na. And then, aside sa ASEN and then dito, iba yung strategy na in-apply ko dyan. Pero the rest, it's just simply support and resistance place. And actually, it gave me enough profit naman during this period. Okay? And ayan, hindi siya 100% win rate na strategy. And some of these stocks na pinakita sa inyo, nag-loss yan, pero maliit lang. Like si JFC, JGS, and then si RLC. Actually, I think nag-loss yung mga stock na yan, pero napakaliit lang nung loss na. Around 0 to 1% lang ata yung naging loss niya. And now, let us move on dun sa ating next strategy using the support and resistance. Actually, meron pa tayong next strategy. Kung itong support and resistance, sinatawag natin siya buy low, sell high. Meron tayong buy high, sell higher. So, ano naman yun? Okay, di ba dito sa ating support and resistance, meron tayong mga price levels. And, hindi naman yan forever na mag stay at that level. So, there will come a time na lalagpas siya sa ating resistance or sa support. 
Okay? Kapag ka lumagpas siya ng resistance, tinatawag natin yon na breakout. Kapag ka naman lumagpas siya sa support, tinatawag natin siya na breakdown. So, let's have an example. So, ito yung blank na sample natin kanina, di ba? Ito yung ating area of resistance and then area of support. And then, kunwari, na-break yung resistance. So, tumago siya beyond this level. So, ano naman yung mangyayari kapag ka lumagpas siya at this resistance level? So, ang magiging structure niya, ganito. So, kapag ka lumagpas siya beyond the resistance, it will now become a new support, yung ating previous resistance. So, kung 1,100 pesos yung kanyang previous resistance, it shall now turn into a support before going up. So, ayun yung mangyayari, diba? So, kapag ka lumagpas siya sa resistance, ang mangyayari, yung previous resistance shall now act as a support. Dapat hindi na bumaba beyond this level yung presyo. Okay? So, kung mag -e enter ka dito during the breakout play, ano yung magiging strategy mo? Okay? So, papakita ko sa inyo on how do I execute a breakout play strategy. Okay? So, there are two ways or there are many ways actually that you can enter a breakout. So, at the onset of the breakout, So, ayan. So, pwede ka mag-enter dito once the price breaks the resistance. So, pwede ka mag-enter dyan. And another entry point, pwede ka mag-enter sa kanyang retest. So, it's up to you. Pwede mong hatiin. So, one half sa breakout and then one half sa retest. So, pwede yun. So, trading is an art naman, di ba? So, there are lots of ways that you can interpret a chart and you can create your own strategy. So, as long as you know your strategy, go for it. So, ako, I personally enter on the breakout. And then, if I have money, so spare money, so mag a ako sa kanya kapag ka nagkaroon siya ng retest. Kasi, i-retest niya yung resistance. Eh. So, parang, yung resistance ba talaga naging support? And kapag ka kasi na-retest niya yun, and then nag-bounce siya. So, it means na the support now is strong, yung previous resistance natin. Diba? So, you will have confirmation na, oh, pwede na ako mag-enter din sa stock na to. Okay? So, let's have an actual example. So, ito, it's one of the recent purchases that I made, CDNR. Okay, so, makita nyo dito, so, drawingan lang din natin, di ba? Kapag ka, kasi nagde-determine ka ng support and resistance, dapat isang tingin mo lang, alam mo na kung ano yung support and resistance. So, ayan, drawingan natin. Ang kanyang sa resistance would be at this level, and then ang kanyang support around this level. So, 7 pesos ang kanyang significant support, kasi madaming best siyang na-touch dito sa 7 peso level. And then ang kanyang resistance would be around 7.8 7.7. So, ayan. So, pwede natin siyang gawing 7.9 to 7.7 level. So, ayan yung magiging resistance natin dito. And, ano yung nangyari? So, nagkaroon tayo ng breakout. So, ang nangyari, diba? so, pakita ko lang sa inyo yung nangyari. So, yung ating path tool. Ang nangyari dito, so, amangat siya, bumagsak, hangat sa ating resistance, bumagsak siya, nagkaroon ng rejection, and then, nag-bound siya, bumalik, nag-retest ng support, nag-bounce na naman sa kanyang resistance and then nag-bounce sa kanyang support test of support, di ba? Napakaraming best siyang tinest and ayaw talaga niyang bumagsak so nag-bounce na naman siya bumagsak and then ayun nagkaroon tayo ng breakout okay? So tumagos siya at the resistance so it means na pwede ako mag-enter dito sa stock na to and actually nag-enter talaga ako dito sa stock na to at the moment na mag-breakout so dito ako nag-enter ng stock na yan at this level. So, 8 pesos ako bumili end of day kasi nakakita ko ng significant volume. Kung titignan yung volume sa baba, and so nasa baba natin, so malaki yung volume niya. So, there's something going on. Bakit malaki yung volume niya compared sa mga previous trades niya? So, yun yung mapapansin nyo dito. Kaya nag-enter din ako dito sa stock na to kasi unang-una, meron kang breakout. And then, pangalawa, high volume. So, pwede kong actually i-trade itong stock na to. Okay? And ano yung nangyari after ng breakout niya? So, tingnan natin yung nangyari. So, nagkaroon tayo ng retest. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na pwede kayo mag-enter during this retest. Kasi mag-retest siya ng kanyang previous resistance na nag-turn into support. Ayan. So, binigyan ka ng chance, another chance to enter the stock at this support level. At this new support level, di ba? Ni-reject niya. So, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya bumababi yan this level. Yung mga buyers na willing to buy at this level. So, malakas yung kanyang support at this level. Now, how do you execute yung trade natin dito sa ating breakout play? Okay, so you enter at the moment it breaks out or at the moment of retest. So, dito ako nag-enter. Ito yung aking strategy. And then, ang aking cut loss actually ay set it to 3 to 5%. So, nagbibigay talaga ako ng allowance. So, ang cut loss ko dito nasa 7.70. Okay, so nag-agree naman yung kanyang resistance dito. 7.7 din naman yung kanyang mga previous resistances dito. So, kapag ka na-break yung level na 7.7, 
I am actually considering to sell this stock at a loss. Kasi nga, invalid na yung aking breakout play na strategy. So, ayun yung aking cut loss level. Now, ano yung aking magiging target profit? Yung sa akin target profit, actually, you can zoom out para ma-determine yung kanyang next resistance level. So, kung may tingin nyo dito, meron tayong previous support dito na it can turn into a resistance. So, ayan, andito sa area na to. Ayan yung ating resistance. And kung makita natin, nag-breakout na naman siya at that level. So, hindi pa ako actually nagbebenta. So, ito kasing ginamit ko dito yung strategy is actually a measured na target profit. So, i-measure ko yung top of the resistance and then yung kanyang support. So, nandito yung support niya around this level. And ang gagawin ko, ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa ating breakout point. So, ang breakout point niya dito sa 8 peso level or sa 7.9. And then, i-add ko lang siya. So, ang magiging target profit ko dito would be at 8.8. So, ayan yung magiging target profit ko, hindi itong 8.5. So, tingnan natin kung nagkakaroon ng agreement yung ating mga support na resistance. Ayan, kung makikita nyo dito, meron talaga tayong resistance at this level. So, dito talaga ako magtitake ng profit ko. Ayan, meron tayong resistance dyan. Kung meron support dito, and then meron resistance dito, di ba? So, ayan, nag stay yung price at this level. 8.8 to 9 pesos. So, dyan ako magko-consider ng taking profit. So, ayun yung ating breakout play. So, that's how you execute it. Okay, so tingnan natin yung ating risk to reward ratio. Ang ating risk to reward ratio is actually 2.6 to 7. So, it's acceptable for me kasi nga, 2 lang yung minimum ko. Okay, so I can lose actually 3.75% right here and I can gain as much as 10%. And right now, meron naman akong gain dito. So, this is on top pa nung kanyang dividend na dineclare after I purchase. So, I was able to participate on the dividend na 0.19 per share. And it actually can give me around 2% dividend yield, diba? That's on top of my capital appreciation. So, sinuerte pa rin ako dito sa stock na to. So, ayun yung breakout play. Okay? And now, let us go on naman dun sa kanyang breakdown of support, diba? Ang tinuro ko sa inyo yung breakout or yung break ng ating resistance. Now, let's move on to the breakdown naman na tinatawag or yung break of the support. Ang example natin dito would be SM pa rin. So, dito na tayo magkaroon ng example. So, si SM. What if ang nangyari kay SM is nag-breakdown yung ating previous support na 1,000 pesos? So, ano naman yung mangyayari kapag ka nag-breakdown yung isang stock sa kanyang support? Okay, so ito yung mangyayari sa kanya. So, for example natin dito kay SM. So, for example, na-break yung ating 1,000 peso level na support. So, ang mangyayari dyan, magkakaroon possibly ng retest. So, i-retest niya yung ating previous support na now magiging resistance na. So, possible na hindi na mag-stay dyan above 1,000 peso yung presyo ni SM kasi nga nagkaroon tayo ng breakdown. So, possible na magkaroon tayo yun ng retest ng kanyang previous support na naging resistance and then we have a rejection. So kapag ka nagkaroon ka ng rejection, so possible na bumaba yung stock. So how do you measure it? So kapag ka i-measure mo kasi kung ang ating previous support and resistance is nasa 1,000 to 1,100 level, we can actually copy or measure it and then ayun yung ating magiging next tradable range. So pwede siya maglaro between 1,000 pesos to 900 pesos. Now, ayun yung magiging new support and resistance mo. Support will now become 900 pesos and then ang resistance will now become 1,000 pesos. So, ang sample natin dito for the breakdown will be SM. So, ano yung nangyari kay SM? So, kung titignan natin itong stock na to, nagkaroon tayo ng breakdown noong March. So, ito yung nagkaroon tayo ng NCR Plus na lockdown. So, naapektuhan yung stock market natin and nagkaroon tayo ng breakdown on this stock and marami pang stock. So, Ang nangyari dito, so drawing na natin ang path, di ba? Sabi ko sa inyo, yung ating previous support now becomes a resistance, di ba? Bumagsak siya up to 940 pesos and then nag-retest siya sa 1,000 pesos na previous support niya na naging resistance na, di ba? Ayun, so nagkaroon tayo ng rejection, malaking red candle and bumagsak siya up to 900 pesos, di ba? Ayan, so 900 pesos and then, nagkaroon ulit tayo ng bounce at 900 pesos. So, right now, it's lurking around 1,000 pesos to 1,020 pesos. So, ayun yung new resistance natin, di ba? Kasi ito yung ating preview support, yung ating 1,000 pesos. And hindi pa tayo nagkakaroon ng clear na breakout from this resistance. So, ayun lang for this video. I hope marami na naman kayong natutunan, especially if you have zero knowledge sa stock market. And actually, this is one of my favorite na strategy kasi napakadali niyang i-execute and in-analyze. 
And that's all. And thank you for watching. And kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe sa ating channel, please consider subscribing kasi nag-upload ako ng mga video that may help you in your stock market journey. And thank you again for watching and God bless.